Good morning, guys. I am back in Los Angeles. Man, that weekend was a lot of ups and downs. The tire blew, the car I was supposed to drive didn't work out, but you know what? Met a lot of cool people and it was still a ton of fun. Speaking of cool people, on the plane ride home, how random is this? I pointed out Camillo Parda, who is the designer of the 2005-2006 Ford GT in the airport, to a friend uh, on the way back. And we're like, I wonder what would happen what are the odds that he's sitting next to us on the plane? Well, boom, he was actually sitting next to us, coolest guy ever, and he drew me, Parker, 200 miles per hour and a Ford GT. I told him I went 200 miles per hour before. He thought that was super cool. He's always wanted to go 200, so I think I wanna make some shirts related to that. Just got a text from a friend that a Bugatti Chiron, Pagani's, F40, Enzo, all this stuff is at a supercar meetup right now, so I, I don't really care what I was doing previously. We're going right now. About to pull up to Sunset GT, and I've already seen a Rapide, a 458, a Gallardo Super Trofeo Stradale, I, I, so many other cars. This, <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, look how many people there are. Oh my god, what's up, dude? <laughs> what's up? Yo, Parker, what's up, bro? What's up, dude? You been, bro? Good, how are you? Where's the Mercedes, bro? What's up, dude? <laughs> I can't drive two cars at once if I could. Thank you so much, dude. If I could drive two cars at once, my life would be complete. That's dope. You're in the vlog, bro! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. What's up, Alex? Dude, I'm wearing some kid's Snapchat glasses, and I don't know what he looks like anymore. <laughs> Alright, this is nuts. This is nuts. Oh. What's up, dude? I'm Sean with the Black Hurricane. Oh, good to meet you. That is epic. That's insane. Wow. Look at these US spec bumper guards. Good sounding 488. That's a dope exhaust. So I'm inside the Performante. Check this out. Normally in Strada and Sport, the dash is the same, although the gas turns a different color. Then in Corsa mode, You've got an entirely new Aventador SV style display. That is epic. Forged carbon air vents. These seats are so much more intense. I'm a fan. This is pretty awesome. This feels a lot different than normal Huracan does. In case you didn't know you were in Corsa mode, it tells you there too. That's epic. Look, even oh, I didn't realize the entire thing is forged carbon here. For Vermont, it has a cup holder and you don't and know. And you have a freaking cup holder. I don't know. I don't know if I'd go one. Yeah. We've got new intakes on the deck lid, and then they feed in right there. That is sick. And of course, kind of bronzes coloring there. All oh, the forged carbon's epic. A black LaFerrari, that's incredible. There are so many dope cars out here. Oh. Look at those vents. I've never seen an F40 with those vents before. Unbelievable. Oh, those poor scratches. All right, check this out. 
At first sight, Celica GTS. Then you look around, apparently, according to the owner, these wheels are extremely rare. It's a manual, and then look what's under the hood. A V8, that's ridiculous. <laughs> and a right-hand drive R33, that is sweet. So I'm inside this right-hand drive R33. Of course, the shifter is on the left, but the turning indicator is on the opposite side, and so is the windshield wiper. So I imagine the first few times driving this car would be a little bit of a nightmare. The pedals are super close together, so heel-toe downshifting is probably a breeze. So the very generous and very knowledgeable owner of this R33 told me a lot about this specific one. So this is a 1995 February delivery. In the back here, these are 1997-1998 taillights from Japan. Super rare option. Then in the front, this has 1997-1998 HID headlights. Imagine having HIDs at that year. So these are actually $2,000 a piece on this old car. Super awesome. Super nice guy. This is a supercharged Huracan. That front bumper is amazing. Oh. All right, this car event was absolutely sick. We are given this awesome subscriber who's wearing the totally wrong shirt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're giving him a ride. Have you ever been in a Lambo before? Not. You haven't. No. This is awesome. I'm excited. All right, what was your name, man? It's Dexter. Dexter. Let's do this. What's the fastest car you've ever been in? Um, yes, I've seen in a MP412C. That's sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. What's up? I'll hit it, don't please, worry. Please, please. What's up, bro? It's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, dude. Honestly, if you guys work hard and get a Lamborghini, the best part is sharing it with other people. So as much as you're stoked riding in the passenger seat, I freaking love giving people rides. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just met the owner of this awesome C63 AMG S. All-wheel drive has sick avant-garde wheels. I really like the way they look. I'm thinking maybe something like that for the S-Class. It has a full Rentec body kit, Rentec tune, downpipes, exhaust is from Meistershaft. Can't even imagine how fun that thing is. Look at that rear diffuser and even the exhaust pipes, the exhaust tips are carbon fiber. That's so cool. Get some lemonade and you too can buy 15 supercars. This is one thing I hate about radar detectors. So this car has park distance sensors and also like collision avoidance. And so it sets off my K-band the entire time. And even when I hit mute, it still continues. That's one thing I like a lot about the Passport Max 360 is that it does a much better job filtering out random junk. This K40 goes off all the time. It's, it's good at long distance and it's accurate, but too many false alarms, honestly. Oh my God. That is so much louder than the stock Huracan. Also a big improvement over the previous Huracan is the rear window. So with mine, especially with the rear wing, I literally can't see out the back, but the visibility in this is pretty damn good. Also these sports seats are insane. Awesome. All right, we're gonna totally change it up here. What do you think instead of a Wraith, a DB11 as a daily driver? The interior on these, okay. so many leagues above the Vanquish, it's almost, I mean the Vanquish I think is better looking, I don't know if you guys agree, but the interior now, it's basically controlled by Mercedes and they totally up their game, it's on a whole nother level. I think it'd be a pretty comfortable, pretty badass daily driver. Just look at the rear of this thing. And the side, the vent right here. The doors are absolutely beautiful, Bang & Olufsen sound system, and this is something more manufacturers have to do. Even the seat belt 
is covered in leather, so it doesn't look like a cheap piece of plastic in a 200 plus thousand dollar car. Also, the paddle shifter feel is incredible in this. Just listen to it. Listen. Very similar to the Mercedes controls there. Yeah, the it makes a nice noise. It's really comfortable in here. The center console, though, is a little bit pinched, so it's a little more cramped than the Huracan, but still very, very nice. I didn't even realize, look how small those back seats are. That's just storage. Thank you. Sure. So beautiful. Look at when you open up the hood. <laughs> That's so cool. You can see all the internals. Oh my gosh. That's wild. We got an automated center console. What the? That's insane. This car is actually nuts. Look at the headlights. All right, so I'm really, really starting to like the DB11. So I'm sitting here, specking one out. I wanna know your guys' opinions about colors and options. Let's go through this. There are so many different options. It's pretty awesome how customizable this car is. Gold and saffron, that's beautiful. Also like lunar white. I really like this frosted glass blue, but I'm worried it's like a little bit too girly. I don't know, it's pretty badass though. All right, here is the golden saffron color in person. It looks absolutely spectacular. And here's the frosted glass blue. These are the Spectre wheels from James Bond. I like the black diamond turned ones, that's awesome. All right, so I think gloss black on this area here, the roof strake. You can also do body color or silver, but the dealer was saying, and I totally agree, that if you make the roof black and the rest of this black, it makes the car look a lot lower to the ground, and more intense. Definitely gotta have the V12 badges. You can actually have V12 badges on an actual V12 car instead of fake Costco ones. All right, I've never heard a DB11 before, so apparently we're about to hear one. I'm in love with this thing. Let's switch the views. Oh my God. That is so badass. So unfortunately, I really like the way the tan looks with the chopped carbon, but I'm worried that tan with an exterior like this might clash like crazy. So I might have to go black in the interior, but black is so boring. Well, Alex Choi sewed me this color. What is it called? Please say it. Ming blue. <laughs> Ming blue and white. This might be cooler than the orange. It looks kind of like your Huracan. What do you guys think? Comment below, Ming blue or what was it? Saffron orange? Mm -hmm. If I get that wrong, I'm sorry. Golden saffron. Golden saffron. All right, what do you guys think of this? This is Sahara tan with chopped carbon, and then the exterior color would be that. Damn. Really liking the embroidered DB11 badge in the uh, headrest, and then here is actually all of the colors together. That's amazing. Carbon fiber engine cover, that is incredible. All right guys, so I'm coming back here on Tuesday to fully spec this out, make sure I understand all of the options and the pricing on that. I am super excited. I think this could very well be the replacement for the S-Class. Obviously, so, so different, but really, do I need a giant sedan? Probably not. This is so classy, so fast, and if I decided to, uh, you know, buy it and void the warranty, you could tune it and it'd make a hell of a lot more power since it's twin turbo. Well, we came here looking for the Performante, and I left basically deciding that I'm gonna get a DB11 as my next car. Pretty awesome. Haven't confirmed it yet, so obviously uh, I never wanna make an impulse decision and just get one the day after. That's why I'm gonna wait a couple days, then I'm gonna spec it out and then see, but I am really interested in this car. Wow, well that was an amazing day. Seeing all those epic cars at the car show and then going to Lamborghini to check out the 
Huracan Performante and ending up really, really falling in love with the DB11. We'll see what happens in the future. We'll see what happens in the next few days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.